Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. But if you are new here, definitely like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. That'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I do have a link below. It's called Beats You Need, or you can go to my website, which is going to be xelohh.com. I just started a brand new YouTube channel for my beats. It's called XELOHH Beats. So I'll link that below in the description as well so you guys can go check that out. Today I'm just going to have some fun, nothing really planned. It's going to make a beat and see where, else, where it actually comes out. Let's go. All right, so let me move my big face out the way. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk, and this is my dark theme. And if you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I have a link below in the description so you can actually download the themes as well. Uh, I know Cakewalk is actually going to be releasing a new update soon, so I might have to update those skins on there as well. But we'll see. All right, so let's just get into it. Let's just have some fun, man. Um, all right, so I did download this um, sign player. And they did add a new instrument inside of Sign Player. Uh, let me show you. It's gonna be this uh, rotary, the free big band horns. And it has a couple of horn sections in there. Pretty, pretty dope. Uh, solo trumpet, trumpet mute solo, trombone solo, baritone sax. All right, the sax section and a brass section. Uh, all of them have been pretty good so far that I've uh, tried. Uh, I'll probably make a beat. Let's make a beat and see if we can uh, add something in here. Let's do. Uh, all right. So what I'll do is um, let's see if I can make some some kind of like stabs. Uh, see how that goes. So. All right, something, something real simple. Uh, let's loop this part. I'm gonna grab from the nine and bring it across. Let's do a shift L to do the actual loop on there. And let's bring it up in the piano roll. All right, so inside the piano roll looks like I was early, which is probably good. All right, I think I like that. So um, let's see if we can add another one. Um, you can actually do it the way I just did it, just add in another instrument, uh, or if you wanted to, you can delete this, right? And you can right click on here and do a pin instrument track. So what that's gonna do is actually make another lane inside of the sign player. So what I wanna do is go inside the sign player itself and we would need another instrument. So let's see. Um, let's do some spiccato strings. All right, so inside of layers, what you wanna do is go to the mixer and you wanna change the out. And let's name this three and four, All right? And I'm gonna close this. So this one would have to be three and four as well. I'm just gonna drag this down so you can see the section. So the sign player here is what we want. And seeing that I put it on two, now it's gonna actually play out of that second channel that I actually have on there. All right, so what we can do, um, let's just make this into a ARP real quick. I'm gonna hit uh, Control C. I'm gonna go down to my second one. I'm gonna move this over so you guys can see it. All right, so I like to be able to see at least where I can have the mute solo and the record button here. So what I'll do, let's 
doing a copy and paste. It's going to bring this in a little bit so I can see the end of the bars. All right, and over here, I'm just going to turn on the ARP, arpeggio section here. And it's going super fast, so let's slow that down a little. So I think I like that. So what I'll do is do a, I think I kind of like the pause. So bring this one back. All right, so I think I'll run with that. I'm gonna uh, highlight all of these, do a bounce the clips. And now you see the arpeggiator in here now. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna break these up I'm going to do a So I'm going to leave it as that. Let's get a nice uh, 808 up in here. So uh, let's move on to the drums. So what I did is just throw a hi-hat loop on here uh, from the Cymatics, the Drip Hi-Hat Loop 8. I'm just going to bounce it to clip so that it will keep its uh, tempo to the correct tempo that's on the, uh, uh, the actual track. And let's see if we can find some kicks and snares to throw up in here and we'll keep it moving. All right, just going to throw the hats. I'm going to clap up in there.
Now I'm just going to duplicate this over. Get a kick up in here. It's gonna copy the uh, 808, put it on a kick, and I'm gonna lower these down, and I'm gonna bring them all to C5. Ah, I don't have any sound on there. Why didn't y'all tell me? Man, guys, man, slipping on your pimp. All right, um. Another cool trick that um, you can do is actually make all the kicks the same exact length. I'm just going to hold down shift and go to the end here and we have this little uh, icon to kind of shrink it in and all of them will be the same exact length.
So there you have it. Another one in the books, another one in the bag, another one done. If you have actually watched this video all the way to here, definitely leave that like. Or if you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. It is what it is. But um, yeah, quick little track beat. Um, nothing spectacular. Uh, I do like the sign player stuff. The horns in there really sound good. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of spice it up a little bit more, add some effects, EQ, track it out. And I'll probably be putting it up on my new beat page. And that's X-E-L-O-H-H Beats for that new YouTube page. Check out the beats on there. I got a couple of drill joints on there, a couple of trap beats right now. But it's growing. And I appreciate you guys for actually stopping by on this video. Check it out. Once again, it's your boy. X dot E dot L dot O. Until the next time, people, peace.